Hello friends, colleagues and my patients. Today we will be talking about the Ayurvedic management of triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer is one of the subset of breast cancer which is aggressive in nature. The current treatment modalities offered by modern science are surgery, chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Nowadays Ayurveda with its multidimensional and holistic approach is used as an adjuvant therapy alongside the conventional treatment in the management of triple negative breast cancer. Ayurvedic drugs mainly target the proper functioning of Agni, that is the digestive fire. They are anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, hepatoprotective, balances the three doshas and also enhances the ojas, that is they act like immunomodulators. So, so depending on the mode of action of these drugs, the Ayurvedic treatment is divided into three types. So first is the Shaman Chikitsa, which is mainly for palliation, where it will restore the proper functioning of Agni and also will balance the three doshas. Second is the Rasayana Chikitsa, which is specifically for its immunomodulatory action. And third is the Panchagarma Chikitsa, which is mainly used for detoxifying the body. So now let's see where and how the Ayurvedic treatment is useful in the management of TNBC. So first, during the ongoing course of chemotherapy or radiation therapy, it mainly will help to minimize the toxic effects of these conventional treatments. It will reduce the oxidative stress, boost the immunity of these patients so that the patient can complete the, these conventional treatments within the stipulated time period without any delay or dose modification. Secondly, after completion of these conventional treatment, the Ayurvedic medication is used in form of Rasayana for immunomodulation along with the Shaman Chikitsa. So this will help to reduce the further chances of metastasis and recurrence which will ultimately help to increase the disease-free survival in these patients. So along with this, undergoing Panchagarma treatment in the form of Basti, Vamana, Virechana, Rakta Mokshan, Nasya and allied procedures like Shirodhara, Patraputtali, Kati Basti for a period of 14 to 21 days and twice in a year will help to detoxify the body. This will not only relax or heal the body but also the mind. Also, some of the late side effects of chemotherapy like neuropathies, tingling numbness can be minimized with this treatment. So ultimately again, this treatment, it helps to overall improve the quality of life of these patients and also which will help to improve or increase the disease-free survival in these patients. Now, apart from the treatment part, Patyagar Ahara and Vihara are also very important factors which needs to be considered. So Patyagar Ahara means a healthy, nutritious diet which is having a proper blend of Shad Rasa which is light to digest along with proper intake of water is very essential and is very useful in these patients. Following a good lifestyle like exercising regularly, yoga practices, waking up early in the morning, avoiding day sleep, avoiding late night sleep and saying a big no to all the addictions can be also very useful to improve the quality of life in these patients. Last but the most important thing is to reduce the stress levels and relax our mind. Psychological distress is a major risk factor which is seen in TNBC. Basically, it plays a significant role in the etiology, progression of the disease and also prognosis of the disease. Ayurveda has also emphasized a lot on this psychological aspect and therefore, mind relaxing techniques like listening to soft calming music, engaging one's mind in creative activities, then meditation and also to overcome the shut repose like anxiety, anger, fear need to be practiced by the patients. As we all know that TNBC is commonly found in the young female and the rate of metastasis or recurrence is higher in them. So patient should also follow the Ayurvedic line of treatment along with these conventional treatment for a lifelong. I would like to conclude my talk by requesting all the patients to remember the three P's. Be positive, have patience 
and maintain peace of mind.